Hey there, traders. It's Wednesday, April 27th, 2022, and I feel a little inspired today to do a cherry bomb inspired non cherry bomb trade. So today is not exactly the cherry bomb that we were sent, as we often do Tuesday through Friday. We do cherry bombs, but we're going to hopefully you'll stick with me. We'll give it a whirl. We're looking at doing a, an oil based trade. We're going to use USO, the cherry bomb that we received today, used crude light futures. And I kind of want to see how this will work. And I'm interested. Maybe you are too. If so, let's get going. Let's finish this overview. USO has a liquidity rank of three drops out of four and an IV rank of 45 right now. So we're going to use that high IV to sell some premium and hopefully give ourselves some good probabilities of profit. So let's get going. Hi, everybody. My name is Neil, and this is Option Theory. Thank you so much for joining me. We are inside of Thinkorswim Simulated Trading. So if you're ever looking for a way to prove to yourself with a risk-free way to prove to yourself whether or not you can be profitable trading options, then hopefully you're in the right place, right? You can always hit that subscribe button if and when you feel like you want to join us. All right, that's my silly little sales pitch, and we're going to get going. On screen, you can see that we're looking at the chart for USOs. I'm, yeah, I'm USO, and I'm going to say, let's use that as a proxy for crude light futures. Uh, just as a, you know, exposure to oil. Let's compare the chart that we see here, which definitely has this sort of consolidating pattern here, right? It's, oh, it's definitely whips on back and forth, but getting tighter, right? So kind of like what you see here. All right, now let's go ahead and add the crude light over here, forward slash CL, and you can kind of see a similar pattern here, right? Not exactly the same, but very similar, so you can compare the two there. All right, with that said, what I'm thinking is make doing a short put vertical, as you saw from the thumbnail. So let's go to the Analyze tab, let's go to Add Simulated Trade. I've already pre-cooked this, so we can have a faster video, video for you, and you can get on doing your day. All right, what we're looking at here is the June monthlies. You know I prefer monthlies for open interest liquidity reasons. And where that I have myself is selling the 70 put. And I was looking at doing a $5 wide because you can see here we have a nice amount of open interest at 70 and a nice open interest at 65, but less in between. Now, when I did the $5 wide, I didn't get the tasty trade mechanic of the uh, one third the whiff. However, if I do a $2 $2 wide or a $1 wide, you can get the one third the, the width, right? So I want to go with two because $1 wide is just not enough, right, for me. So what I'm looking for here is collecting 64. It would be nice if it were 66, you know, 65, but we'll hey, 64, we'll take it, right? So what I did here is I left clicked on the bid, hold down the control key, and I left clicked on the ask for the 68. And there we have our short put vertical collecting 64 cents. Let's go to the risk profile so we can understand our probabilities of profit at expiration. As you see here, we're looking at essentially a 65% probability of profit at expiration here. How did I do that? I got the date in the top right to match the date in blue on the bottom left. That gives me my light gray expected move area. I went to this little menu option right here and I chose the first, um, that's not right. I chose set slices. The first option is set slices. I go to the second option from the bottom to break even, and I choose blue, which is 618.22. You can't see that, so I'm just talking you through it. All right. And then that sets the gold price slice right here to where the blue line crosses the $0 axis. We're looking at 65% probability of profit. According to Tastyworks, which I'll show you over here, let's build that real fast here. And we see that we have a 70 and a 68. I don't have to do any control key magic here. We're looking at a P50 of 77% probability of making half the credit and being able to say thank you, USO. All right, let's head back to Thinkorswim. I'm going to go ahead and right click this trade, choose confirm and send. will allow you to see my confirm and send screen here. And we can see that we're making the potential $64 for max profit or 32 if we collect if we close it at 50% of maximum profit. Max loss of 136 so you can sleep at night. And hopefully you'll like this trade because I'm going to go and hit head and hit send. Either way, I'd love to hear from you if you like this trade or not. The, uh, the trade from Tastyworks, or I should say Tasty Trade, right, uh, comes to me in an email four days a week. 
If you'd like to get those emails in the, uh, there's a link in the description down below. It was a uh, forward slash CL futures. All right. Love to hear from you. Until then though, until our next video, may the market be with you.